Aretha Thurman, uh, big clutch throw in uh, round six to um, make another team talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how, what were you thinking uh, going into uh, that last round? Well, I mean, going to that last round, I knew I was I was still in third place and on the team, but yeah. I was going for first. I mean, I was yeah. just trying to I was trying to get to that winning throw. So, uh -huh. I mean, to come in second and make the team is, is still awesome, but I definitely was trying to go for first. Yeah. 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 Uh, wh where do you? you um, we'll go see her. Where, where do you go from here um, before between now and World Championship? Oh, just just back to training, you know, back to grinding it out, getting ready. Uh, I mean, it's a long ways till August. I actually don't have any scheduled meets planned um, between now and World Championship. So just we get ready for Worlds. Uh huh. Don't do it. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. All right. Thanks for my your happy time. flag waver here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It, it seems like with especially with um, Stephanie's gold medal, this seems like it's sort of a golden age for women's discus in the U.S. Does it feel that way? Um, you know, it's funny because I think we've actually been really good for a really long time. Uh, we just finally, as a group, have a medal to prove it. But uh, I think there's been several of us that have thrown well for, for years now. So I think it's great, though, yes, my wild one, that we, uh, <laughs> that, uh, that we finally get some of the attention that, that yeah. as a group, we deserve. But still, you're not getting enough. I really feel like there's a lot of jealousy from, on the men's side. And, that, and that's when they, when they do TV. Yeah. They focus more on men's shot and stuff like that, no matter how right. in the field. Yeah, right, so. yeah, I definitely think, uh, I think that we've always, We've always been there. I mean, we've always had that that talent and uh, that ability. And, and like I said, I think finally winning a gold medal, there's a little bit. But you're right. We, we could we, we we could do better. We could do better. You know. But at the same time, we're not going to complain. You know. It's after you. Yeah, you're after Paul. Yeah. Huh? So, but it was exciting. It's great to get out there today. We had great. Great think competitive it was good field. Conditions? Great conditions, yeah. actually. Yeah. I should okay. have taken better advantage of the conditions. I mean, we all know what those hundred times yes. we had some some winds coming through. Yes. It was sporadic. Exactly. It wasn't like a consistent little wind. Swirls. But yeah. Little swirls were there, and oh man, if I could have just flew that discus well, right, I could have gone a lot further today. But you <laughs> and know, what do, you, what do you think about? I, do, don't you think that you should have gotten another throw after you hit that guy? Well, you know, I don't understand that. I they really actually they should. actually offered it to me, they but. You take you it. You take it at the risk of losing, of losing the good throw that you had already. Right, and but I was. Still, I was in was second a, place. Yeah, no, but that was a 200 foot throw hitting him, and it could have gone maybe two or three feet further. Right, but I didn't want to risk and losing. And then another throw hit him. Do you know that? Yeah, well, you know, but that's how it is sometimes. I know it's that disc is coming at you, and sometimes they lose sight of it. And he was trying to do his best job to make sure he was on the mark. So I appreciate. That's you great. Know, you weren't mad at him about. No, it. no, I totally appreciate his effort of trying to be spot on. You know. Okay. Yeah. I, that's that's I, for sure. He was I unfortunately have had a few officials in my day, and so I, I it's rough. The 1K discus isn't really going to hurt anybody, which is the good thing. Yeah, I figured he had a, an but, armor chest thing on. I think he had no. a go-through vest. What round did you hit? First uh, round. First round. Wow. First throw, 200 foot throw, hits the guy right in the chest, tumbles down, and he marks it where it tumbles down off his leg. Wow. Yeah. So, I mean, I've been there before. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is, is if you take the throw, you risk losing the throw that you do have, which is still a decent throw, and I knew I'm going to get five more. So, you just go to figure, final, just so it's like, that and, and take we'll it. just leave it like that and just take this comp and, 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 and try to improve. I mean, yeah. yeah, but you do. You run the risk because it's like, it was a tight, I mean, that wasn't an easy team. No, no, not no. at all. That was a tight comp. That was a tight comp. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> what you wanted, and you're all clustered yeah. next to each other in that la in that second round. So yeah. that was awesome. It's, it's, it was, I think, a little bit more pressure cookerized than the trials, don't you? In a way, yeah. just the way you guys were all lined up, just well, yeah, one think, after another, facing the next throw. I, exactly. I think well, the few meets that we've had this year together with uh, <laughs> with Reebok and uh, and Prefontaine, yeah. they've all been yeah. tight. They, yeah. they, they, we haven't had a meet where it hasn't been like centimeters of separation. I mean, and don't you think that's the way that that you improve as a group? Is oh, when definitely. somebody gets a good one out there, you know the rest of you can be there. And we all go. Chase it. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly.